Here's the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4. I'm going to show you how to do a wireless screen mirror directly from your phone to any Roku TV. Okay, it could be a TCL Roku TV, Hisense Roku TV, On Roku TV, Westinghouse Roku TV, and so on. So very simple. So first thing is turn your TV on. Next thing is go ahead and go to your phone. It doesn't matter if you can have it open or you can you can use the front screen. It doesn't matter. But you just want to slide down notifications slide down one more time and then from here we're looking for what is called smart view okay smart view is basically samsung calls that screen mirroring okay so my smart view is right here if yours is not here you can swipe over to the left and look over here also fyi you have dex on here as well if you want to use dex instead of the screen mirroring okay anyway screen mirror is right here smart view so we're going to tap on that and now let's see if it finds my tc okay so my this is my 32 inch roku tv is right there also take note in regards to the connection, to connect it, it has nothing to do with your home Wi-Fi network, okay? So you don't need a home Wi-Fi network to connect. It's a Wi-Fi direct, basically a Miracast connection. However, if you want to go ahead and mirror your phone onto the TV and you want something, you want to do something that requires um, internet access, then it's going to get the internet from your phone. So whether it be your home Wi-Fi network or you can use your SIM card using your data as well. Now, this is the first time I'm connected to this TV here, so I'm going to go 32-inch TCL Roku TV. I'm going to tap on that. Now, the first time that you do this, you should get some kind of message down here. Let's see what happens here. It's trying to connect here. Oh, there's a message down there, and it says, Galaxy Z Fold 4 would like to cast video to your TV, and then grab your original remote, and then click on OK, and give it one second here. And voila. And like I said, we can go ahead and have this closed as well. Press on OK there. So you can see. And then uh, this is great if you want to show like uh, work presentations or if you want to show your videos and photos to like a group of like your friends or family, you want to sh cast it onto the big screen. So uh, let me go to my photos gallery here and I'll choose a. Uh, Here's a photo here. Of course, you can zoom in and out, as you can see as well. Zoom all in there. And here's a little video here. I'll play this. Now take note that the audio comes out of the TV, not the phone. Okay? And you also have this little, as you're mirroring, you have this little floaty thing here. And what you can do is you can tap on that and you can see you can uh, darken phone screen, pause, smart view, selfie video. You can also disconnect from here as well. And then if you tap on the settings icon, the gear icon, you can look through here. But you also have, you can set your screen or change your screen um, aspect ratio on here as well. So if you want to disconnect again, you can just tap on this and tap on disconnect. Or you can slide down notifications like we did before, slide down again, and then we want to look for Smart View. However, it won't say Smart View no more. When you're connected, it's going to say the name, whatever you name the TV. Mine says 32 inch TCL Roku TV. So to disconnect, I can just tap on that. And there you go.